All right, we are looking at making an art history timeline. And the question that people have is, um, what should I make my timeline about? And I have this as very nonspecific because um, everything has a history. So your timeline can be about anything you want, starting within the time period that we're looking at. And what we're looking at right now is the Renaissance. So I did this over 20 years ago when I was in grad school. And um, that's because my art historian, um, my doctorate professor was an art historian and he was really interested in the idea of um, studying things on your own and developing timelines. So I made one and, and when I got, um, when I was done and I started working at Tarrant County College, uh, I had my own website, which I really can't go back and uh, redo. And you can see this is very dated and my pictures are very dated. So the first thing I'd want to do, do with this is to um, redo it and make it look a little bit more modern. So each one of these, and this is a blog, and I suggest that maybe you don't want to do a website right now. If you do, you definitely can go that direction. But um, working in PowerPoint is probably the best way to do this. And then you can put it as a PDF and it will be printable. Um, the nice thing about it being a, a website is that it, it goes out in every direction. And so this is the home page. And the fact that it's pink because of toys at that time seemed to be good but it's kind of hard to maneuver and it doesn't look really great so the first one says ancient dolls and you can see that i have my pictures of my dolls up there and um and I take it into consideration that this was at the beginning of website development so they're not very big they're not very easily read and i didn't know a huge amount about design obviously when I'm making this pink thing here but it's still up there on the internet and this is it so um and I have each doll and I have a description of what it is and then you can go forward at the end of the page to a new one and um, the next one in line is ancient toys etc um I also then have one um that says the history of toys And then I have buttons. And um, when I did this, we had sound and I was talking ab about it. And when I made my website development, it's so long ago, I did not know how to add sound and everything to this. So I'm going to be talking about then you taking whatever idea that you want and working with that. And one of the, your class members is already using music that he's going to be talking about music um, on his timeline and uh, showing composers and I suggested maybe add sounds. So I'm going to talk about the research and everything. And the reason why I have um, Pinterest as one of the ways that you could do this, if I go to Pinterest right now and here's my Pinterest blog and I'm going to link along with this um, timelines that I looked up as examples of timelines but this is a really nice I love Google because it knows what you do and it's a smart search engine and maybe it knows too much but um, I like the way it saves time but Pinterest is a search for images so um, right now if I typed in um, Renaissance, Renaissance art, and then take that out and type in music. All right, and so then I, um, right off the top, we'll start coming in with some pictures that he could use on Renaissance music. Probably did not, and you see periods of music and time coming up here. 
and you have Renaissance between 1400 and 1600, which is exactly the same. Then you go to Baroque and then you go to classical and romantic. Those will be time periods for your second timeline, maybe your third timeline. And then you've got some things here um, already showing up. Here's music history. And here's somebody who's done something on uh, music history. So that will help you do research. Um, if you're in Google, for example, I've researched ancient toys. So you can see right away I've got so many more interesting pictures and things than I had a course 20 years ago when I did this. All right. So you've got all those different ways of researching. And if you are working with PowerPoint, um, I'll do a new PowerPoint. All right. And you can save all of this if you decide you want to do a, um, blog from it you could save all your images and put them on a google blog or um you can save it as a pdf which would be one long document which is very similar to a timeline and there it's very editable edit editable and there's a lot that you can do with it uh, one of your links that are there in the timeline tells about um these cute little um pictures that can hang that you can put your images in there and, and fly back and forth and however you decide to design your timeline is going to be up to you but this is a really good way to start um and you can include in, include a background you can include picture frames you can include words you can put whatever you want to with it that so um that's definitely a direction to go um, so if I was going to come and choose one of these images and um, sometimes it's better to take a screenshot if you can't get a good picture. Now, and I have directions for doing that. Um, the one that I really like now is my Windows button shift and S. So it allows me to draw exactly what I want it's not going to let me do both at the same time since I'm recording my desktop. Um, here's a really wonderful site, apparently. Um, much better than mine because it was updated 2019. But it has toys. It has ch children and toys and art and, and pictures, which I have all of those things. It's just that my pictures are very outdated. And um, normally I can go right click on my screen and save that image. Save image as um, I can also try just copying the image with a right click and um, then putting it into my timeline. Um, you also will want to include um, where you got your images and where you got your information at the end. Just like you were doing a um, normal research paper, which you really are. You are just making one with, with pictures and other good things in it. All right. Well, that was what I copied off of my blog. So apparently I didn't, wasn't able to right click and copy it. It's only going to let me do so many things at the same time here. Let's go back to this one. Oh, thanks. Try it again. See if I can do it. Um, It will let me save it to Pinterest. So I could do that and, and save it into my Pinterest account and, and get it from there. Let 
and it wants to save it to the history and the cylinder and that's not necessarily where I'd want to save it. Um, so right I'm going to create a, um, a board called toys. So you can call your timeline board whatever you want and and save all your pictures right there so that you have them for your timeline. And there's probably other ones already out there because once you're, you start saving them in Pinterest, um, you can keep it up and they'll find them for you. So um, that was the first one there from Ancient Toys. And this one's quite interesting. That's already on Pinterest. Whenever they made this, they had to have um, been making carts and things. So the bad thing about this is they do not have any historical information on it. That she's talking about it. So um, it's a bull. It may be Mesopotamian. Um, in this case, what I would do is save the image and then go out and search the web and see if I could find um, some things about it. So I can um, go back to Google if you've never done that. And we're going to click on images and click on uh, search by image. And we'll go to Pinterest and which Pinterest was on. here's the URL and Google image will paste the URL there. not refer to an image okay so I did that one wrong because okay. it was a pen so that means I have to go to the website itself uh, and maybe Here's a cat from ancient Egypt. Isn't that cute? That, this is a good website. There it is. It's a striped cow that comes from Ukraine that dates back to 3950 BCE. All right, so that right there would give me enough to put it in my timeline. That I know that I'm at 3950 BCE. Um, it's a pole toy. And I can copy it and put it in my um, PowerPoint down here. All right, so I have a blank PowerPoint and it's trying to give me design ideas. But before I do that, um, I want to tell where it's from. So, and it's actually a striped cow that came from the Ukraine and find my PowerPoint and see if that will paste in. Okay, so within this, then I've got something and I'll have to um, put it in chronological order like I did within um, the one that I showed you. You also then can come and play with design and everything else that um, you're going to want a page of, uh, for your URL. So um, go ahead and make a back page, insert a um, new slide. Um, this one's going to be um, all of your sources. All right, so um, 
This source is called the little things.com lifestyle ancient toys. So I'm going to copy the URL, control C, come to my presentation and um, you don't have to follow any kind of um, reference source. I don't um, care that you do that. But we'll just paste it and then we'll go back to it and put the title. And paste. Mm -hmm. Looks like I did that wrong. So I'll back up. Enter. And, and then I'll put striped. Pull toy. All right, so that way I'm keeping it. I can be a lot more specific when I'm done, but um, I now have the place that I have found my image. I have the place that I got my information. Um, I'm being a little bit more um, correct. I'm not stealing anybody's information off the web. All right, the next thing that you probably might want to know how to do is include sound. And um, I'm sure that there is a really good link on using PowerPoint out there, and I will look for it. There's also help buttons here. And help can tell you all kinds of things in, in PowerPoint. I mean, that's basically how I do everything is... Uh, if I need to know how to do something and I don't know how to do, I'll go to Google and I'll say, how do I include a sound in PowerPoint? And it will show me. But um, you can record. So if you want to talk, um, you can include sounds from YouTube. So um, that is under um, slideshow design review. Animations, transitions, design. I master acrobat. Insert sound audio. Okay, so I can record an audio. So if you can't do anything else, you could play a sound and record it. Um, if you do a screen recording, that's you talking, and you can do that as well. Or you can put a video link in here in PowerPoint. So if you found a great video on your topic matter, you can include the, that in here as well. So um, right now then, I'm going to come down here to this one and put in YouTube. Okay, I'm now in YouTube, and I can search for Renaissance Music. All right, and... Here you've got sound and picture for your timeline, just doing from Renaissance music. So if you're doing something specifically that you can get it from YouTube or sounds, this would be great. And then you just can include the link to it into your PowerPoint. So here is a link, copy. When I come back to my presentation, and um, insert a 
worth looking for a link. Okay. I'm just going to use what's here because it's an example. And I've highlighted that and I can click insert a link. All right, and then when we're viewing the slideshow, that's going to take me to that YouTube music that I just did that. that that's one way of doing it. Another way is, um, and YouTube probably has more than anything else, you can do a search for... Um, Music sound files Renaissance. Is that right? Oh. For some reason, I how do you ever get it right? Well, TP tracks. So you can go and get a track and, and put it into your um, YouTube as well. That one's going to charge you. So you also want to put free. That says it's not for free. <laughs> Classical guitar wave file. That will work. Well, you get the idea. And then if you can download the wave file, um, when you get into your presentation there and um, insert and audio and then you can do the audio from your PC and it'll get a WAV file that you can put on your page and people can click and play. All right, so that was pretty down and dirty. Um, I would definitely consider a PowerPoint and then you can design your page and you can have multiple images, multiple boxes, um, the one that I have for you on website Oops. is basically you want to be able to have your timeline with events, dates, um, pictures, and you can do all of those things in PowerPoint as well. Alright, so look for this one, boxes, pictures, times coming across here. So I will work on the one I have, that I showed you the one that I did originally. I will work on the ones that I have and, and try to get them a little bit more cleaned up and friendly and um, then you definitely have an idea of what you're trying to do here. That, um, if you, whether or not you want to put it online, it's going to be up to you when you're done. All right. Good luck. This has been quite a lot of talking and maybe not as much um, how-to as I would like it, but um, here you go. And let me know if there are any other questions.